after setting up my new Sidewinder, I noticed that printing, I was getting Z banding or um, Z wobble uh, in the prints on the side walls, as lots of guys have mentioned that they're having. And I talked on the forums, I talked on Facebook, and tried everything. I tried different uh, slicers, I tried different settings, I made sure that everything was tight, I checked all the rollers, uh, I, I took things apart that people suggested to take apart, and it just would not go away. I happened across a video that explained um, just what manufacturers do to get rid of the wobble that's in the in the threaded rod then I came across a video of a guy that was fixing a Prusa machine and he was a machinist and he sort of took a different approach he took a, a approach of like a CNC machine where everything being as rigid and as stiff as possible and remachined um, you know these coupler nuts right here how it attached to the gantry the the shaft itself, uh, just everything. And that sort of made me look at it completely different. So what I did first thing is what lots of guys are doing is I took these plastic sort of spacer pieces off to get rid of that flex. I, I know that that was there for a reason to help with any wobble in the rod, but I got rid of that completely so that it's directly attached to the gantry or as tight as possible did that on both sides and ran a test then it really uh, it didn't do a whole heck of a lot not much different now one thing that I've noticed is that uh, on some models mine has the solid coupler there's no um, there's no sort of flexing in here so if the rod does bend this doesn't take up any of that which the guy that did the machinist part he made his a solid block so this i think was a big deal then at the top people were taking these bearings off and the the belt they're taking the belt off i take the belt off it didn't make any difference i took the bearings off it didn't make any difference so i just took this whole assembly apart and just let the rod sit straight all by itself not attached to anything and taking another approach i wanted to see if this was actually flexing i purchased one of these dial gauges uh, so that I could see any movement. I actually clamped it on exactly like this because I didn't know any other way I could attach it so that this piece was riding on the threaded rod but attached directly to the gantry. So as I moved the Z up, I move it all the way up and move it all the way down, I could see any flexing that was happening in the rod. And I was actually getting flexing as it moved up and it was it was this wavy form just like in this picture here I could physically see these waves did you see in the print in the threaded rod so as I would move it up and down this would wiggle back and forth so definitely that was being picked up from the gantry into the print which you know it, it just was so with this piece being, with this being completely off, the threaded rod floating in midair, I put this piece back on, but with no bearing, so that I could see the threaded rod move. I then moved the gantry up and down, and the threaded rod was sort of wiggling back and forth in there. I unscrewed these nuts down here. So these piece, these two nuts down here, and kind of wiggled this motor around to the point where when I moved the gantry up and down, this stayed almost dead center in there. It didn't wiggle at all. After doing that, I'd move it up and down <clears throat> and the wiggle got less and less and less. So all the way from the bottom, all the way to the top, I had hardly any movement, but there was still a little bit of movement. So what I did is I thought I would put this bearing back in to hold it tight in place. And when I did it, the wiggling was still there but I found that as it moved up and down with this nut gone I was able to twist this back and forth ever so slightly so every time I would run into a spot where this would move too far away I would twist this one way or the other and I could fine-tune that wiggle 
And I got it to the point where as it moved all the way up and all the way down, it basically didn't move at all. It was straight as an arrow. Once I got that dialed in here, I slowly tightened these pieces up to hold it in place. And I could run it from the bottom all the way up to the top. And the dial gauge moved hardly at all. After that, I thought I wanted to see if this gantry here was doing anything funny on its travel. Maybe <clears throat> these bearings here were riding funny or making any bit of a change. So with the dial gauge in this location, I was able to stay attached to the gantry or this part right here and run it up and down and see how the gantry was moving to the Z axis right here. And what I found was it seemed to be great until I started getting down to the bottom and the gantry looked like it was starting to move out like this. It was getting, it was actually changing. It was changing its pitch like this as it went down. While it was moving and it got to the point where it was adjusting, I took the nut into the concentric nut and I slowly started to adjust it to see if it made any difference and it absolutely did. So as I moved up and down, I would get to the spot where it was moving away or starting to twist and I would adjust the eccentric nut a little bit and you could see it on the dial gauge start to move. And I stayed in that spot moving the eccentric nut back and forth just a little bit until I got no movement. After that was dialed in, I checked the other side. The other side was fine. I'd run it from the bottom to the top and there was no movement whatsoever. Straight as an arrow. So after all of this, getting this to run completely straight, having this with no flex from top to bottom, I ran some prints and problem solved. Uh, I have moved the machine around since then and I've checked it after I moved it and nothing has changed from here. So all of the problems that I was encountering because of this rod and this gantry, the gantry moving back and forth like this, which was due to these rollers and it just depended where it would sat in here, but I was able to find the exact location where it did start to twist. And with the dial gauge, I could dial it in. Moving this up and down, finding the wiggle in the threaded rod, which was absolutely showing up in my print. I was able to fine tune that by loosening this off to twist this back and forth having these nuts loose so that I could move this motor back and forth, getting rid of this, which was trying to compensate for the movement of the rod and making it one solid piece. Once it became a solid unit, all the Z banding or Z wobble disappeared. I hope this makes some sense. If you have any other questions or need some pictures, just drop me a line and I'll send off what I can.